the Hyderabad E-Prix race week and we are all set to see 22 of the electric race cars zoom past us at the Hyderabad street circuit and while everyone is frantically trying their very best to prepare the cars for the Formula E race right here in Hyderabad, there is one team that comes in as leaders in the team as well as the driver standings and that is the Tag Heuer Porsche team. We are here to talk to the driver Pascal Wehrlein. Pascal, thanks for joining us on CNBC TV 18. You guys have had a crackling starter. The last two races you won and uh, are you planning to make this a hat-trick this weekend? Ah, for sure, yeah. We're trying hard. So, um, new track, new challenge. Uh, first time here and um, yeah, obviously with all the success in the last couple of races, we want more of that. And uh, we are well prepared and looking forward to be on track the first time this afternoon. So, this is your first time in India. What has been your reaction to India and also the Hyderabad street circuit? Um, I quite like the track. I only did it in a simulator, so I don't know how it will be in reality. But um, in a simulator, it was quite cool to drive uh, very fast here, especially the first sector. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm always looking forward to drive on a new track because then that's where you get your first impressions, um, the challenge, find the right setup. Um, but like I said, we were looking strong the last couple of races and we are well prepared, so um, hopefully we can have another good race here. So it will start to build up a little more, the weather will start getting hotter. Do you think that's going to affect your uh, qualifying and race? Well, it affects quite a lot the car and the, the tires, obviously, um, the warm temperatures. So it's the first time that it's also that hot because the last two races were only like 20 degrees, 15 degrees, uh, I mean here it's a lot hotter, so um, it's a challenge for the car, a challenge for the whole team working uh, in these high conditions um, and also for us drivers. Right, you're also, uh, you're leading but there is a lot of tough competition coming in from uh, the Avalanche and Reti team in terms of the drivers championship is pretty close to you, so um, what in terms of that, I mean, does, does, does everyone stay on a level playing field? considering it's a new uh, street circuit for everyone this weekend? Well, first of all, uh, to look at the championship right now doesn't make a lot of sense because it's just the beginning of the season yeah. and still many more races to go. Um, but it's good that we are looking strong right now. Um, but the season is long, there are still uh, many points to be scored and uh, therefore we just keep working hard, we keep focused, we concentrate on ourselves that we do no mistakes that we extract the maximum out of our package and uh, yeah, then let's see where we finish but for sure the competition is tough uh, Formula E is always tough because uh, everyone is so close together right. um, so yeah like I said we keep working hard and uh, let's see where we end the season the Gen 3 cars we hear are more powerful and uh, they're a lot more efficient than the Gen 2 cars have you had to adapt your driving style a lot to you know, uh, make use of the regeneration because I see that it comes into play a lot during the races. Yeah, I mean the car is very different to the Gen 2 car so um, like you said we can recuperate more energy. Now we have a powertrain also at the front so we can recuperate at the front and at, on the rear so the car is a lot more efficient. Um, we have a new tyre manufacturer with Hancock, we changed from Michelin to Hancock. Uh, the car is lighter, it's faster, more power, um, it's smaller, right. so you also need to get used to that. Mm. Um, so yeah, many changes and for sure you need uh, a bit of time to adapt, but uh, you know, we've been driving cars for our whole life, so it shouldn't be an issue. Alright, and uh, I have to ask you, you've raced in Formula 1 and moving to Formula E after that. First of all, what was the motivation to drive a, you know, in an electric racing series and how different is it from driving you know, a Formula 1 car to a Formula E? Well, the motivation um, was that I like single-seater cars, so uh, I did both. I did uh, touring cars in DTM yeah. and I did single-seater in Formula 1, Formula 3 and now also in Formula E. And, you know, I like the open cockpit feeling. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was one of the motivations that um, I really enjoyed that. Um, the other motivation is obviously that uh, you can see Formula E is growing more and more and, you know, many manufacturers join in Formula E and um, as a driver, that's where you want to be, you know, where the manufacturers are, um, that those are the yeah, best possible places and, uh, yeah. I mean, in general, like I said, I, I just like the single-seater feeling and um, 
obviously then also when you're in the series, especially for me, you know, you start to get aware more of sustainability and, right. and everything what comes with it. All right, thank you so much and hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.